Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's July 19, 2022. We are in the New Testament. We are going to read from the book of Matthew. We're going to read chapter 26, verse 30 to 75 today. All right. So Matthew is finishing up his gospel. Uh, we just had the Lord's Supper, the Eucharist, communion, whatever you want to call it, which was part of the Passover piece. So Jesus is tying himself to the Passover lamb. Uh, they, they're, they're wrapping that up. It's Thursday night of his last week of his life. He's, he's taking his disciples out to pray in the garden at Gethsemane. And along the way, he's, he's one more time explaining to them exactly what's about to happen. That he is going to be taken and killed. He's going to be resurrected. And we see Peter come forward. And, and he's speaking for all the disciples. And he reveals to us, if we're looking and reading here, that the disciples all understood that Jesus was the Messiah, but they still haven't quite grasped how it's all going to come to an end here in a couple, couple more pages. They still kind of, they're still clinging to that idea that, that Jesus triumphs in this first life. That's not the case. Jesus is a sacrifice here. That's where the triumph comes from after he sacrifices himself. He gets them to the garden. He starts to pray. And, and what Matthew reveals to us, the, the full humanity of Jesus. Jesus fully understands what's about to happen to him. He's going to be beaten. He's going to be spit on. He's going to be humiliated. He's going to be killed in the most horrific way anyone has ever devised. And he, as a man, says, man, if I can avoid that, God, please let me avoid that. But yet, he says, you know what, God, but if it's your will that I go through that, then that's what I'm going to do. And that's what he does. And then we see the, the, the troops come in, led by Judas, who, who betrays him. And, and Peter and the disciples whip out their swords and they're going, oh, this is it. This is the climactic fight that we were waiting for. Long live the Messiah. And Jesus stops them. And they say, huh? freaks them out and they do exactly what Jesus said and they abandon him and they run away because they, they're lost. They don't know what's going on yet. Excuse me. Jesus is brought before the high council, the Sanhedrin. Last time he was there, uh, they, they tried to trap him in the law of Moses. They tried to trap him in the law of, of the Romans. And, and Jesus turned the tables on him and said, you know what? Here's God's law. Love God first with all of your being. Love your neighbors and everyone else just like you love yourself. They had no answer for that. That's indeed God's law. They agreed with that. So now they have him in front of their Mosaic law. And what do they do? They ignore every part of their Mosaic law to find him guilty. So not only do they reject Jesus and God, they reject their own laws. So the, the, the rejection is complete from them. So let's go ahead and we're going to start reading. And we're going to read Matthew 26, 30 to 26, 75 today. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. And Jesus said to them, You will all fall away because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter answered him, Though they all fall away because of you, I will never fall away. Jesus said to him, Truly, I tell you this very night, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even if I must die with you, I will not deny you. And all the disciples said the same. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. And taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch with me. And going a little farther, he fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again, for the second time, he went away and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. And again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words again. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Sleep and take your rest later on. See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas came, came, became one of the twelve, and with him a great crowd with swords and clubs from the 
chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Seize him. And he came up to Jesus at once and said, Greetings, Rabbi. And he kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you came to do. Then they came up and laid hands on Jesus and seized him. And behold, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew a sword and struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place. For all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my Father, and who will once send me more than twelve legions of angels? And how then should the scriptures be fulfilled that it must be so? And at that hour Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out against a robber with swords and clubs to capture me? Day after day I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not seize me. But all this has taken place, that so the scriptures of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left him and fled. Then those who had seized Jesus led him to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders had gathered. And Peter was following him at a distance, as far as the courtyard of the high priest. And going inside, he sat with the guards to see the end. Now the chief priests and the whole council were seeking false testimony against Jesus, so they might put him to death. But they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. At last, two came forward and said, This man said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to rebuild it in three days. And the high priest stood up and said, have you no answer to make? What is it that these men testify against you? And Jesus remained silent. And the high priest said to him, I adjure you by the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said so. But I tell you, from now on, you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his robes and said, He has uttered blasphemy. What further witness do we need? You have now heard his blasphemy. What is your judgment? They answered, He deserves death. He spit in his face and struck him, and some slapped him, saying, Prophecy to us, you Christ, who is it that struck you? Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard, and a servant girl came up to him and said, You also were with Jesus the Galilean. And he denied it before them all, saying, I do not know what you mean. Then he went out to the entrance. Another servant girl saw him, and she said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied it with an oath, I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly you too are one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then he began to invoke a curse on himself and to swear, I do not know the man. And immediately the rooster crowed. And Peter remembered the saying of Jesus, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. May God bless the reading of his word, and may God bless you. Bye.